Hey guys, it's Liz and we're flipping things and we are doing a what sold on eBay. A lot of DVDs. I will include things like how much I sourced the item for, what the fees were with shipping, without shipping, what my final profit was and how long the item took me to sell. So stay tuned and I'll show you what sold. <music> Welcome back. I hope everyone is doing well. It is Liz. I am an eBay reseller. I am also a content marketing manager for a company that works with national parks. I'm also a greenhouse owner. I do lots of things. Most importantly, I'm a mom, but uh, everything I sell on eBay and all of my income from YouTube helps me support my family and my three boys. So I'm glad you're here. Let's jump into what's sold. I always try to be quick on these. <laughs> I'm gonna move over. All right, up first, this is Pitch Perfect. I purchased this for $1.21 in a liquidation lot. This sold for $14.99. The fees were $5.62, which included free shipping for the buyer, making my profit $8.16. This took 42 days to sell. Awesome flip, never complain about that. Up next, not an awesome flip. <laughs> this is a Sony Walkman that I sold for parts. This was an experiment where I was trying out the Goodwill auction site, which is why I believe they've pulled so many of the good items out of the stores because they want to auction them online. And I wanted to test it out. So this is an item that I purchased from, or I, it's an auction that I won online through Goodwill. This Sony Walkman I paid $7.50 for. Most of you know that is way higher than I like to spend on anything. And because it was an auction for Goodwill online, I was not able to see if the item was actually working. So when I got it home, it is working, but it doesn't, like it needs a new belt. It doesn't rewind or anyways, I sold it for parts because I didn't want someone to complain that I sold them a not working item. So it sold for $15 in 477 days. So it took forever. The fees were $5.99. I had to pay a little shipping because this actually went to Canada. I'm in Buffalo, New York, and this went to Ontario, which is just across the river from me, but added a little bit of shipping. I wound up having to cover a couple dollars, making my profit in the end $1.51 and it took 477 days to sell. Would I do that again? No. I might pick one up like if I ran into one at a garage sale for a couple bucks, because then I would have made a little bit of money, but one, it took like a year and a half to sell, problematic in its own right, and then two, I only made $1.51. So the only positive here is that it didn't take up a lot of space in my storage. <laughs> Up next, this is The Sound of Music. I paid $1.12 for this in a liquidation lot. It sold for $14.99. The fees with free shipping for the buyer were $5.60, making my profit $8.27. This sold in 15 days. It was nice. It was like a little special edition. It had a slip cover. Happy with that flip. My next item is Zella Apple Cider Vinegar Gummies. I got these in a Catch and Deals HBA box. I paid $3.18, so I had two of them, so I lotted them together. So combined, they cost me $3.18. They sold for $10.99. The fees were $2.86, making my profit $4.95. Not the best flip, but you know, the HBA that I have left, the supplements and stuff like that that I have left from sourcing them nine months ago is stuff that just isn't moving. So I, I've just accepted, I have to take a, lot, a lower profit to get it out of my inventory because these are products that expire and we've got to move them. So $4.95 was my profit. These took 191 days to sell. Up next is God's Not Dead. I paid 76 cents for this. This was the last of the God's Not Dead DVDs that I had. I think I had five total, five or six. I got a lot of these and every one of them sold at a great profit. I paid 76 cents for this item. It sold for $15.99. The fees with free shipping for the buyer were $5.72, making my profit on God's Not Dead $9.51. It took 25 days to sell. I wish I could find some more. 
because they sell really good. Next is Godzilla versus Kong, the DVD. I paid $1.21 for this. It sold for $10.29. The fees were $4.94. That included shipping, free shipping for the buyer, making my profit $4.14. This one took 39 days to sell. I don't make a ton of money on all the DVDs. A lot of the DVDs are three to $6 profit. It's about selling a lot of them, right? Like, that's really the, the game when you're selling DVDs is a lot at a lower profit. Up next, this is Dark Was the Night. This I purchased at Dollar Tree, but as you know, it's now Dollar Twenty Five Tree. So this was $1.25. I was not happy with any of these DVDs, but I listed them and this one actually sold for $8.49 plus shipping. So the fees were only $1.99 because the buyer paid for shipping making my profit $5.25. This took 55 days to sell. I'm happy. Totally happy to move any of those Dollar Tree DVDs out. I will say, I think you can make money sourcing DVDs at Dollar Tree, but they've covered the barcodes. So you've got to literally be willing to stand there in the store and type in every DVD to find the ones that are of value. I personally am uncomfortable doing that. I just think everyone knows what I'm doing and they they think I'm super shady because I'm in there like <laughs> looking up items. So yeah, that's that. Up next, this is Anatomy of a Bigfoot. This is a random one. I paid zero for this. This was actually given to my husband years ago when he worked in the casinos by the man that actually made these videos. He gave, there was a bunch of them. This is the last of the ones that we had and it sold. So I paid zero for it. It sold for $15. The fees were, two, oh, $15 plus shipping, I believe. So the fees were $2.83, making my profit $12.17. Took 513 days to sell. Not a huge demand for the anatomy of a Bigfoot, but it's there. There's a buyer for everything. This is, I truly believe this. There is a buyer for everything. This is the only one of these that was listed on eBay. And I was like, if this doesn't sell, I don't know, but 513 days later, the buyer for this item found it. There is a buyer for everything, if you're patient enough. <laughs> Up next, this is Snowpiercer, the complete first season. I got this in a liquidation lot. I paid 76 cents for this. It sold for $17.99. The fees with free shipping for the buyer were $6.01, making my profit $11.22. Awesome, and it took 25 days to sell awesome. This is my favorite flip of this video. This is WKRP in Cincinnati. It was the complete series DVD. I paid $1.42 for this in a liquidation lot. When I bid on this liquidation lot, it was an auction that I won. I bid up because of this DVD because I knew I could make money on it. I paid $1.42 for this. It sold for $30.99. The fees with free shipping were $7.83, making my profit $21.74, and it took four days to sell. So awesome. Oh, I missed that source for DVDs. There's no other way to put it. Up next, this is a Vastar drain clog remover thing. I got these in some of those Amazon liquidation boxes that I don't like anymore. I paid $2 for this. It sold for $7.99. The fees were $1.21, making my profit $4.78, and this took 369 days to sell. This is one of those items that I still have several more to go, and I am afraid to have it in my store. These are the kinds of things I think that are getting people like me sued for selling counterfeits. I almost said, I don't know, let me know in the comments. I think I should just take these out of my eBay store. Like I'm gonna do a garage sale sometime in the next few weeks. Just sell them there if people want them for a couple bucks, make my money back. Because these are the kinds of things that I think are getting counterfeited in China and then moved over to the US. And then the company that actually has a patent on it goes after a bunch of sellers and sues them. And if you haven't seen that video, I'll link it up here. I got sued and it was awful. It turned out okay for me, but I don't know. I think I should take those out of my store. I think I'm going to. Let me know what you guys think. Next is Nightmare on Elm Street, the complete collection. I paid 76 cents for this. It sold for $21.99. The fees with free shipping for the buyer were $6.55, making my profit $14.68. This one took 32 days to sell. Super awesome. Yes. 
Next, this is a really good few days here that I had selling. This is Fast and Furious, the nine movie collection. I paid $1.42 for this. It sold for $24.99. The fees with free shipping were $7.01, making my profit $16.56. Awesome. This one took six days to sell. The collections, especially the new releases, if you come across them, sometimes Walmarts and stores like that drop them down real low, like to a dollar or two dollars. Trying to get them sold, grab them. Grab them, you can resell them, you can make good money. Up next is Mortal Kombat. This was a Blu-ray. It paid $1.21 for this. It sold for $7.99 plus shipping. Or, you know what? It might have been plus partial shipping. Like, I think I did flat rate shipping of $2.95. It should say here, the fees with the shipping that I had to pay was $2.14, making my profit $4.64. This one took 50 days to sell. Cool. And the last one is the Wraith. This is a Blu-ray. I paid $1.12 for this. It sold for $16.50. The fees were $6.89 because I offered free shipping to the buyer. And my profit was $8.49. This took 28 days to sell. And I am never going to complain about sales like that. I will tell you as we move forward, because I'm behind on these and we get to the stuff I'm selling now, my profit levels are a lot lower because the DVDs I'm selling are worth less. Meaning a lot of these were $16.99, $24.99. The DVDs that are selling for me right now are $10.99, $8.99. So I have to sell a lot more DVDs and um, it's gotten more difficult. But I'm just going to ride this ride this high. Uh, it was fun. It was a good ride. I am just hoping I can <laughs> get back to that. Anyways, I hope this was interesting. Thank you so much for watching. Um, thank you to everyone that w likes and subscribes and comments. It means a lot to me. It helps my family. Every time you interact with the video in any way, it tells YouTube it's interesting. They show it to more people. That helps me. So thank you. Have a beautiful day. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.